So I'm back to working on the pump. I'm gonna put the pump down here along the wall somewhere, draw fresh water in. And part of the project is gonna involve me running a wire from down here, up there on the other side of the hot tub. There's a door and inside that door is the GFI breaker box that I have for the hot tub. So I'm gonna cheat for now until I get my permanent wire run down to my dock. And I'm going to run a wire on the ground. Now I'm gonna preface this by saying I am not an electrician. You should not do this. Do not do this. I am not recommending you do this. I am going to do this, but you should not do this. And what I'm going to do is another hack to get 220 volt power down to here because this pump will run on 220 or 115. And I want to run the pump on 220 because I can use a thinner gauge wire. 14 gauge wire on the 100 foot extension cord. And I'm gonna run it into the pump because it will do 230 volt. And at 230 volts, it only pulls 10 amps max, probably not sustained. So at 110, 115, it pulls 20 amps. So I would need a much heavier wire and it would interfere with my hot tub. I can spare 10 amps on the hot tub easily. I can't spare 20. So that's my plan. This is configured for 220. I'm gonna run 220 and I'm gonna plumb this up. This is the intake, this is the exit, this is the fill hole. You fill this up first with water before you turn it on. So I'm gonna put a foot valve into the water, about two feet. It's three feet at the wall there. Two feet in, come up over in, and then discharge out to the side, down, across, and then out through PVC and hose connectors so that I can hook up as many hoses as I want. And I'm gonna start with one and see how it does and then leave myself room to add in two or three more if I decide to do that. Okay, so here's what I'm doing that you should not do. In 220, you have two hot legs and one neutral leg. You also have a ground. Now, I don't know if you've ever looked inside of a box before, but the neutral and the ground go to the same place. They go to ground. So, this is 14-3. One, two, three. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one and this one and hook them to both legs of a 220 breaker because I have 220. You could do this with two separate 110 outlets if they were on different circuits. So when we get to the circuit panel, I'll show you how to wire it up there. Again, not an electrician, don't advise doing this. Do not do this yourself. Okay, so here's my layout. This is the discharge side. All this is just set in here. I haven't glued anything in yet. When I go to glue it in, I'm gonna put down this cleaner. And after it dries just a touch, but doesn't take long, I'm gonna use this all purpose PVC. PVC, CPVC. This is schedule 40 PVC for the most part. Um, so, this screws into here, female, short piece that will go over to here. I'm gonna put a piece of, cut it, cut a piece of board to stand up under there and hold that up. Once I get it in there and get it measured, I'll cut that. Then this piece has the red foot valve on it and it will go so that it uh, is a good two feet underwater and that'll keep me from being too close to the bottom. It's about three feet right here. So 
it'll be about a foot off the bottom. So it'll keep me from sucking up any mud or anything. And um, that will come in and complete the feed cycle. I'll take this off and fill it up with water. And uh, the wiring is done on this end. All I have to do, uh, this is the discharge, comes up. Again, none of this is glued, but I'll d that'll just take a minute. If you've ever worked with PVC, you know it doesn't take long once you get all this work done. So one and a half inch down to a uh, one inch to a reducer to a brass hose fitting. And the garden hose will hook right up to that. And then I'll hook a garden hose up to it complete the wiring on the other side and hook up one of these sprinklers. Hopefully I can get, I can get some more PVC, change this configuration and run, run uh, a leg down with these T's in it and put another reducer kind of thing like I have here so that I can run three, four hoses. The alternative to that is to run this into one meter, feed the meter, and have the meter with sections on it that feeds four different hoses out to the yard that will do one to four sections at once. And that way I can water the whole yard at once or just have it cut on automatically so we don't have to come down here and do this twice a day. So just in case you haven't done this before, in order to do this, you basically just, this has, this is a cleaner and the cement works similar. This, you just take this, get it wet, go around the outside and then go on the inside of where this is going to be going into. This is going to go in like this. So you just go around the outside of one, the inside of the other. It dries very quickly and just get them cleaned up. And all I have to look to do is this one, this one, and this one, and this one, and that one and then I'll be able to finish gluing them in. All these right now you can see have the glue on them and I have the hose fitting on there and I am ready to go. The next step is to cement. So what you want to do is you want to get some cement on here, go around, make sure you coat it up good. Come over to here, go around here, you can make sure again you go all the way around and then you just put this in here and twist. Twist it and then just let it sit and it will cure up in no time. So next time I'll put this elbow and then this cross piece and then the down leg. And then all it's left to do is wire it and prime it. So here's what I did. I brought the extension cord in, secured it in like you're supposed to, brought it up, brought the white and the black up in. Get a little slack in there. Black goes to one hot leg, white goes to one hot leg, and the green goes to the ground fault leg which then comes back over here to where the white's supposed to go. So I think I'm pretty good. I've got it off. I'm gonna turn this box back on because this box is off for now. I'm gonna turn it on and go prime the pump and then flip this switch and we should be cooking with water. So there's my contraption. Here's proof that it works like a boss. Spraying lot water like crazy. Something happened with the uh, sprinkler. I don't know whether it got a little piece of trash in there, but the water's not flowing good out of it. But this thing is blowing water. This is amazing. And it cost us 10 amps of 220 to get all this, quote, air quotes, free water.